What's up, bitches? Welcome to Ruffle Waffle. On today's episode, we are doing probably the most frequently asked fan suggestion, McDonald's waffles. So today, I'm gonna be using this Big Mac and some french fries. Uh, Wero, he's got himself some McGriddle. And Lofi? Yes. We got him something very special. Yes. For the filet of fish. Yay! Filet of fit. I love the fish. <laughs> My plan is I'm going to basically recreate the Big Mac in waffle form. This is a spaghetti fish. We don't want that. We do want to save this. We want all that sauce because that's going to be good, you know, syrup on our waffle. Uh, we're going to use a little bit of bread because you want the flavor that they imparted into this bread. So we're going to get a lot of that good French fry flavor. I think that's enough for three buns. While it's still warm, we gotta put our cheese on here that we scraped off. We just wanna put this on here so it gets a little bit warmed up. Get them a little warm. Get them a little warm skis. So we're gonna spread some sauce on this one, the rest of the sauce, there we go. Now we got our two saucy patty or er, buns. Then we assemble. Wait, somebody else's pro. Fuck you. Man. And then we assemble. <laughs> so you get the top bun. So it looks still kind of like a Big Mac. We have a little extra syrup here in the form of homemade uh, Big Mac sauce. Ooh. That's not so bad looking. You know me, I don't fucks with no syrup, so I'm just gonna go ahead right from the beginning, put a little extra dollop on there. We don't fucks, we don't play. We don't fucks with it, all right. What do you mean you don't fucks with you fuck? <laughs> oh my God. It's a Big Mac, but there's just a little bit more because of that waffle, which is really nice. And getting a little extra sauce on there is completely ideal. That just like bumps it up to 10 because this sauce is a little bit more tangy than a normal Big Mac sauce. McDonald's has been doing like Big Mac versions of their other stuff, like you can get a Big Mac chicken sandwich and other thing. This is like nearly a Big Mac McGriddle, mm. but with hamburger buns or it's hamburger on it. Around, sir. It's just like, fuck, just try this. Let me know what you think, because I think it's amazing. You get it. Corn and dry, because that's what I'm used to. So aside from the fact that there's a lot of lettuce on a normal Big Mac, total Big Mac right there. That is fucking delicious. Mm. Let's throw some, some sauce on there. All right, so good, you guys' Big Mac sauce that you made, fucking thumbs up. Other than the fact that it's a waffle on the bottom, this is a goddamn Big Mac. And then when you dip it in more Big Mac sauce, it's even better. Your review. 100%. I can taste the fries and the, the waffle buns, and I can taste the extra consistency that's on those. And anybody who goes to McDonald's and shoves the burger in their face and then goes reaching for a handful of fries to mash in there to <laughs> chase it, that's this is what you're looking for. Because the, the fries and the bun mix together extremely well. This is something that you could do as an aftermarket effect to a Big Mac to really kick it into next level. Mm. I'm having a problem because I don't know where the next place I can go to get this piece of food that I need in my life now. Right? No, this this is definitely a one in life. It's an existential yeah. crisis. Yeah. Where do I get waffle Big Macs? <laughs> you're going to eat a normal Big Mac to try and achieve it again. And then yeah. you're, you're going to be sad because it's, yeah. not, it's not right anymore. I'm going to just... <laughs> Take a huge bite into a Big Mac and go, I feel empty! <laughs> yeah, it's got the M just emblazoned on there. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Like it was branded or some shit. All right. Okay. Minimum effort, maximum output. Yeah, flip that. Boom! Mic. Woo! <laughs> Success, right? Yeah. Ow! Fuck. What's it look like in there? 
It's still does, a little underdone on the edges. It still does need to go on the edges, yeah. yeah. But that looks way more waffly than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Crystal hot sauce. Mm. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I made a big deal like you gotta put crystal. Okay, if you actually eat a McGriddle, crystal on it is good. Mm -hmm. This, no. <laughs> it's so, like, I mean, it does taste like a McGriddle, but the textures fuck everything up. <laughs> and then there's like weird flavors in between that you shouldn't get because the things have cooked for so long. Beep. A little bit, a little bit more maple syrup. Flat. <laughs> okay, so still not as good as Pink's. Fuck that guy, he cheats. <laughs> but when you put a little bit more maple syrup on it, it kind of turns back into a McRoodle. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a sweet, savory breakfast and add vinegar. <laughs> oh no, what? Oh yeah, the uh, the crystal. So the major appeal out of a McGriddle is like how sweet and fluffy the pancakes are on the outside of that sandwich. Yeah. And basically all we've done here is add a little bit of extra crunchy burnt parts to the end, to the outside of it. <laughs> and overcook the egg a little bit. <laughs> I mean, it's not horrible. It's just like super dry. Like you, this is like the 7-Eleven version that's been under the heat lamp all day and you go to buy the, their version of the McGriddle at the end of the day, and they actually tell you, it's like, oh no, don't you see the date on there? <laughs> that We can't sell that. And you're like, fuck it, just give it to me. And they're like, all right. Fuck you. It's not that hard to get through, dickhead. It's so weird because it's such a tiny little, like, cross section of sausage just because it got mashed in there so hard. Like, I can taste just a tiny bit of the sausage and just mm -hmm. a tiny bit of the uh, egg. <laughs> it, it's pretty well pulverized. Like that is that is beyond um, enjoying textures of any part of this sandwich. The fact that there's a new texture on the outside, I mean, that's okay. But now you're just kind of eating little sausage strata <laughs> and little excavated egg. There's a few cardinal offenses that you can have while you're dealing with fish. One, you pair it with cheese, <laughs> which is yep. always on a filet of fish, and it's always just like stuck on there. But number two, and the worst thing that you can do is just overcook. Okay, so as an undercooked, like just batter product, it smells pretty good to me. Weird bun all up on there. How many fish do you think it took to make this? Uh, a lot of teeny tiny tiny little fish. <laughs> bun with mayonnaise and all kinds of weird shit in it. Oh my god! Oh no, it's just fine. It's just like this. Spread it on. Mm -hmm. ah! A little bit of freshly made uh, like dill. Uh, tartar sauce that was made here, and this stuff is delicious. So we are going to try not to be too uh, liberal, but we do want a good healthy portion on here. Here we go. It's too starchy. It is. But uh, other than that, I love it. It's, it's really good. The extra dill on the top is really good. It helps uh, deal with that extra starch and the fact that the fish is a little bit extra overcooked. It's, it's really nice and tangy. And uh, all in all, the textures aren't terrible. Uh, they could be better, but we're dealing with things that are very overcooked. So all in all, not too bad. This is actually not a real cut of fish. It works, like the fish is brittle. It falls apart when you eat it. To be within the spirit of the show, you probably should have put the fish in the waffle. Yes. 
But once you actually figure out where the waffle begins and ends, it's actually. I dig it. Right away, you know you're eating a fillet of fish. But if you can get past, if, if you already enjoy a fillet of fish, if you can already eat a fillet of fish, this waffle is fine. It's just sort of a weird deconstructed fillet of fish with like a crispy bun at the bottom. However, I'm telling you, the fillet of fish is always too dry. So you got to do it right. Yeah, get that on there. <laughs> it's so good. Do it right. Down tonight. Fillet of fish. Oh. Mmm, no. Not a duckum. They need to give you like... Just like a carafe of ranch. Just a little something. carafe, a little bowl of tartar sauce that you can just drink <laughs> along with that sandwich and everybody would love it. That's what I'm talking about. This has been Proffle Waffle. Please like, share, subscribe. Let us know what you think of these waffles. Let us know if you try any of these waffles. And I know you're going to let us know how we should have made these waffles. <laughs>